Hey, so welcome back to our channel. Um, so everybody that is subscribed and that you guys watch us on a regular basis, I just wanted to give you kind of a life update because I know we haven't been posting much. And so it's kind of been hard because what's going on with us right now is that we have an eight month old and I'm a stay at home mom. And she, you know, being a wife and being a mother, that is my priority. And so if my, daughter does not allow me to make a video i don't make a video and honestly at this point some weeks it's kind of easier to just say it's not going to happen and not put that pressure on myself because it ends up taking away from what i'm able to give her if i feel like i'm being held back or not able to do something because she needs me because she's awake because she doesn't take a lot of naps because she wants to play like I just, I kind of got to this point where I have removed this priority of YouTube. Um, not because I don't love it, not because my husband doesn't love it, not because we're not going to keep moving forward with it because we are. It's just, it's sometimes it's hard to under, it's hard to know what is that going to look like. And obviously every season changes and babies change and their needs change and what they can do changes. And so all of this is going to ebb and flow, but where we're at right now, we've not been as consistent as what we were. And so that's why I really just kind of want to let you guys in on where we're at. It's not that we're stopping. It's not that we're, we're not doing any of those things. I'm not going to stop until God tells me to stop because he hasn't told me not to. And honestly, we really enjoy this. We enjoy pouring into people. It's, it's hard to pour out when you don't have it. And that is another thing when you have a baby, which I know so many of you do. And so you really understand where I'm coming from. I mean, there's a lot of moms out there that their kids are their priority. And that's where I'm at in my life. Like God didn't give her to me for her to be in the back seat, Like, you know, just to be like on the back burner. And like, I'm just not going to withhold anything from her because I'm trying to do something else. And that's kind of where it started to feel like it was going. Like, you know, I put all this pressure on myself and be like, okay, today I'm going to do this. And today I'm going to do that. And my mom's out there. You understand that when you have a, a small baby that you can say, I am going to do this. And those things may never get done. And if you basically get up and you get dressed and you get those main things done, you get the baby taken care of and you play with her and she has a great day and you brush your hair and you brush your teeth, like you won, like that's a good day. And the thing is, is a lot of times and maybe somebody watching this is struggling with this right now. So I'm just going to kind of talk to you in that your baby is your priority. Your husband is your priority. Your home is your priority. It is your ministry. And so when, if you have to remove the pressure of outside things to be your best in that role, then do it. And so that's kind of what I've done. I have removed this as a pressure. So it's not what every day I try to get up and accomplish because I have learned that I may not accomplish much in a day. And there may be days like today where I get to accomplish a ton because my baby is at her Nana's and it's amazing. And this is probably the first full day that I've actually had since she's been born that she hasn't been with me. And um, even if she's being watched, usually I am there. So um, this is awesome and I'm having a great day. So anybody was curious about that, this is a fun day and I'm getting so much done, but that is not the norm. That is not the usual. And so as I was saying, things will change, seasons will change. And with that productivity will, will change. But right now, you know, it just kind of is what it is. And I've had to learn to accept that and say, you know, as long as she's taken care of, as long as my family's taken care of, everybody's good, it's a great day and everything is okay. And I am doing exactly what God wants me to do. I am exactly where he wants me to be. So I'm learning to remove that pressure to make all these things happen because in the season I'm in right now, it's not realistic. Now, if I were open to daycare and I had people, maybe more people to help or that I would even ask for help because I just really don't because it's, these are, these are my, this is my responsibility. And this is things that I, you know, it's, it's okay to be present in your family. And that's what I, that's my goal. That's my, that's my priority right now. So anyway, I just kind of want to get y'all caught up on that of we're not quitting and we're not done. 
Also, doing videos like this, I love, but it's getting to where my husband and I have done so many videos together that I kind of feel weird now just doing it just me. So I really enjoy him and I doing these videos together and he loves it too, but he works full time. And you know, on the weekends, we're so family oriented that we love to spend time together. And sometimes doing this doesn't fit into that. And so we're working things out, we're figuring things out. And I just ask that you guys would be patient with us that you would understand, I hope, and you know, just be a little more patient for the next, you know, upload to come and know that it is coming. And so we're just kind of just trying to figure this out and you know, trust in the Lord and not put pressure on things and not feel stressed out over something that doesn't have a deadline. It doesn't have to be done right now. What has to be done are the things in front of us. And so Maybe that will help somebody else too. That's kind of where we're at right now. But also, um, what else did I have? I just want to kind of keep you guys in the loop. I actually have a chance to do this today. So I may even put some other things together for you guys. There were a couple videos that I wanted to remake that are older, that are really incredible, but I would like to just kind of re-update those and maybe add a few things to those that I had left out. And kind of also those things coming from a perspective of now, which is obviously very different as time goes on, things change, yada, yada. But also something else I wanted your opinions on is so we changed our channel name to Kingdom Wife Style. Now, I have a lot of a, a lot of dreams for Kingdom Wife Style. And because this is a wife style, this is a lifestyle, but a lot of our subscribers, a lot of you guys, you are in a in a season of waiting. You either are married or you are you know that you have a promise from the Lord to be married. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so in that, I feel like there's so much in the lifestyle of it. You know, we teach a lot on the courts of heaven. We teach a lot just from our personal relationship of what God has showed us and what we've learned and how we live our life and how we live our lives as a, as a couple. And it's definitely blessed a lot of people because it's not like everything else. It's, and I put it in a short one time and it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, this isn't a relationship of the flesh. It is a, it's a God relationship. And so it looks very different from what you would see in most things on social media, what you would see in the movies, what you have probably even known in your past, it's gonna look and be completely different. And so we try to kind of show that, but I actually want to go deeper into that with the kingdom wife style. And I want to really kind of show you what does it look like after you get the promise? And that's also, something I've really tossed around and I've even done a little bit of is, you know, making some vlog style videos of this life of what does this day to day look like? And that is one way where I feel like that works for my kingdom wife style right now, which is with an infant with two stepdaughters that are here 50% of the time. There is, you know, with my husband working full time and then, you know, what it looks like when he's home and, and what that kind of, you know, what that entails and because it's wonderful. I mean, we have a really, a really beautiful relationship. We have a very beautiful family dynamic. Is it perfect? No, but it's wonderful. And so, you know, something I've been tossing around is doing vlog style stuff of kind of really kind of showing what that life looks like to one, give you inspiration. If you're waiting for that and you're looking to that, something to show you and give you like something to look forward to and also kind of maybe ideas and or things you can implement into your own life or whatever it is you know just godly inspiration you know coming from a christian household and so that is something i've tossed around i have actually worked on some but it's something that i do feel in my heart is something that 
is kind of why God gave me that idea of the kingdom lifestyle because it's all encompassing. It's all of these things. It's your spiritual life. It's your spiritual life. It's your home life. It's your love life. It's your children. It's all of these things that either you have right now or you're going to have soon. And so that's just something I would love some comments on that. I would love whether that is something you would like to see. And if that's not, what what is going to help you right now in the season you're in? What can we do to serve you better as far as anything we can speak into your life, anything that we can show you through example? What is that thing that you're needing right now? Because that's our prayer is like, God, use us, but, you know, show us who we can help. Like, help us, whatever we're doing, help us to help people get to where they need to go. And so... Yeah, you know, when you live it all the time, sometimes you forget that what you have is extremely valuable because you kind of forget all those seasons that you spent in the waiting and all those seasons that you spent in the wilderness. You kind of do. And once God brings you out of it, you, it's kind of kind of just goes away in a sense. You know what happened, but you're not there anymore. And so there is so much. And so if you guys could share with us, what are you needing right now? And if that's something that we can help with or that we can provide, then we can kind of devise a plan of how we can do it. But that will help us to kind of know what direction do we need to go in and what do we need to focus on when we do have time to do this so it's the way that we can best serve. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment down below, like, subscribe, and it's just been wonderful being here. And I thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.